Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video we will be taking a look at a release that has quite a history behind it. I don't mean history as in year lo years long history, I mean in the past year or so and that is Peggy Liner from the Salt Fever 9 pack. Now if y'all are unfamiliar with the story behind this release let me give you a brief rundown. Her pack appears on walmart.com with some stock photos of some prototypes of the other cars in the pack, like Noriyuki, Sarakog, etc., etc. Um, and people are wondering when this pack is going to come in stock. And weeks go by, we don't hear anything about it. We Nobody's found it in stores, it still hasn't appeared online, and all of a sudden, boom, it goes in stock for all of like 10 minutes, and then disappears again. Since then, it has sporadically come back in stock, about as sporadically as I upload videos, and then that's about where we stand today. Or, that's where we would stand if the pack didn't sew up at Ross for a measly $16.99. How do I know this? That's where I found mine, or rather, that's where the person who found this one for me got it. Look at that, $16.99, and Ross thought it was only $27. That's a steal for nine cars, mind you, including this one, which probably won't ever be released outside of this pack for reasons I'm about to explain. Peggy Liner is, well, I don't want to use the word lightly, but for lack of a better term, a giga release. Peggy Liner is one of the longest cars I have ever seen. Um, she is longer than Royce Revely who, as you can see, only goes up to about here. Right? Yeah. Simple enough. She's not even on the screen. That's how long she is. All right, yeah. Royce is a shorter car, though. So let's bring in Speed Demon with her wings. Even with her wings, Speed Demon only reaches about halfway up to Peggy. Maybe two-thirds of the way up there. All right, sure. Regular cars aren't going to cut it. Let's let's bring out the heavyweight, the stamp of measuring things. And I have of I am of course talking about Topper Deckington the 3rd. And he's still shorter than Peggy. Like Peggy is seriously long. Do not underestimate her. She's also Australian, which is cool. Shout out to uh my Australian out there. Y'all got yourself a racer. Alright, so, with that out of the way, let's get into Peggy herself. So, Peggy has a really nice color scheme. She's gold and red, and as you all know, I love this color scheme. So, I love Peggy Liner. Um, and she's got a lot of decals on her, which is something that we haven't seen with a lot of Assault Flats racers. She has five engines on top, and yeah... That's all there really is to say about the top, because we've got a lot to talk about on the side. So first of all, she has sandy tires, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but with her it's okay, because you can hardly see them. And then you have her decals, which read... What does that say? AMR? Like the AMR safety team in NASCAR. PIP or PLP, something like that. And then we have this red one, which I'm having a hard time deciphering. As well as a white one, which I'm also having trouble deciphering. Uh, I cannot see those. Uh, apologies, my eyesight isn't the best. Then we have an orange one here, which says 1041 LAS. And then we have a blue one there, which I don't think says anything. As well as this little decal right here. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's pretty cool looking. And then she has, you know, five exhaust vents for five engines over here. As well as the number 327. I think of Star Wars when I see that number because of, you know, the 327 Star Corps of Clone Troopers. But anyway, I think that's really cool. Uh, on top, she has 70408N. Kind of reminds me of like a plain tail number, which is fitting because she's longer than a plane. And then down here, she has 714-ZCE. Not sure what that could stand for, but it's probably a reference to something or an Easter egg. And then we have the Australian flag. Again, pretty cool that we see that. And then we get to her expression, which, uh, 
Yeah. Um. <laughs> you can hardly fit it on the screen. Her eyes are out of focus. <laughs> um. So yeah, she's smiling, and then we'll bring her in here. And her eyes are, you know, fairly typical expression. And on the back here, she just has two, like, vents or something, as well as a parachute for when she's going really, really, really fast. And, yeah. That will about do it. Also, for those interested, she's got a base code of R32A, which I believe means she was manufactured in the 32nd week of 2022, I think. I don't think it would be 2021. That's way too early. Um, but yeah, um, that about wraps up all that I have to say about Peggy Liner, the comparisons in size, how big she really is. She is truly a giga release, and if you want her, go and get this nine pack. You can maybe still find it at Ross? I don't know. It's been about a month since I got mine, so she might be gone from there by now. But I've heard that it's showing up at Walmart stores now. So you still have a sense to get that pack and add this giga specimen to your collection. That out of the way, I believe this is where I will sign off. Catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye!